Apollo 11 is perhaps one of man's greatest achievements. For eons, ancient humans would have looked up at the sky and wondered about the incredible sights staring back at them. Fast forward thousands of years later and various space agencies were battling it out to be the first in space. The first unmanned mission to the moon was in 1959 by the Soviet lunar program, with the first man landing being Apollo 11 in 1969. The primary objective of Apollo 11 was to complete a national goal set by President John F. Kennedy on the 25th of May 1961, that was to perform a crewed lunar landing and return to Earth. Additional flight objectives included scientific exploration of the lunar module, deployment of a television camera to transmit signals to Earth, and deployment of a solar wind composition experiment and seismic experiment package. On the 20th of July 1969, American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans ever to land on the moon. Around six and a half hours later, Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. As he took his first steps, Armstrong famously said, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Armstrong and Aldrin spent 21 hours, 36 minutes on the moon's surface. So with all this proof and photographic evidence, where does Stanley Kubrick come into this? There's a few groups that believe he was actually involved in the moon landings, and this has caused various theories to be put forward. It's known that he had connections with the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and all this has done is helped these theories thrive over the years. The theory is that he actually helped NASA fake the landings, and because they were so impressed with how realistic his films were, they actually kept him on board. One of the reasons this theory gained traction is because of this photograph. It shows Frederick Ordway, who was a NASA advisor, Donald Slayton, a NASA astronaut, Stanley Kubrick and George Mueller, who was at the time a senior administrator. It's caused some to speculate that Stanley would often meet with NASA officials, and this was because they were very impressed with his skills as a director. This only led to theories being put forward that NASA brought him on board to help with various projects. With that being said, not everyone is convinced with the idea that he helped NASA. Some have pointed out though the date is tough to pinpoint, and that all this photo shows is Stanley Kubrick with George Mueller. It doesn't prove anything more than that. It's also reported this group was gathered together during the pre-production of 2001 A Space Odyssey. The film took itself seriously and wanted to get as hands-on as possible. This meant the people working on the film met with various aerospace companies and even NASA themselves. This was to ensure that the film would be realistic, and a believable version of what spaceflight is actually like. Others have also said there would be no point in doing this, because when technology increases there would be a point when all the lies would unfold. So what do you make of this theory? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.